I mean, who do you think you are having a shave? I know I haven't even shaved. <laughs> right, so we're recording a Yo Cho video, so we say hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Chubby. YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Gary says hello. Hello. Here we are. <laughs> Marion, have you shaved? I have. Yeah. Sh I haven't shaved. Gary hasn't shaved. Gary hasn't. Gary no hasn't one's. Shaved. Nobody's shaved. Then no, no one's good enough to be on television today or on the Yo Chos. Right, so are you ready? So this is my... Am I allowed to eat? Yes, you're allowed to eat during oh, it. Really yes, yes, we're recording. Yes. So I'm going to show the people of YouTube and you, Marion. Yes. Marion, my crafty friend yes. over here. All of the things that I've bought over the last few days. I spent quite a bit of money, but I've enjoyed every minute and every penny of it. Which is great. Yes. I don't know where to start. And most of it for me. Most, no, no, most of it for me, to be fair. I've spent a lot on myself, but you know, oh, well, we such is life. We don't so, so I'll just go with the nearest things in here. So today I bought a Wentworth jigsaw puzzle. Isn't that pretty? Middle Eastern rug. One is about to finish on eBay um, on about £30. And all the pieces are there. We're hoping all the pieces are there. I'm going to give it to my mum to try tonight okay. so she can be busy. I should look at camera sometimes so she can yes. make... <laughs> Isn't that nice? Um, it's about £3 on that. Hopefully get you know, between 20 and 30 You never know. Um, in Barnardo's they've got a 99 pence rail, buy one get one free, so two things for yeah. a pound. Yeah. That's alright, so I picked up a Disney t-shirt. Okay. That's Very okay. It's a lady yeah. size 14, there's a bit of makeup on there, but I suppose I'll have to wash wow. it. I don't like washing things, so... <laughs> Bless you! That means effort. I can't be doing with effort. Yeah, but then it's so nice. Yeah. And then, this is only a bit of Primani. Um, oh, that's sweet. Well, yeah, it's just a little uh, play suit. Palm tree. It might fit on a leg. Maybe. You could have a nice palm tree leg. But it's got cute little shell buttons on it. So, that was 50p. Might get a fiver from it, you never know. But it was mainly just because I was buying the Disney t-shirt and because it's buy one, get one free. You might as well. Um, I've got you some shoes, Marion. No. Totally. A, B, C, D. Mother, oh, I could, yep, that's me. Yep, totally. They, these are actually massive. They say, right, what's confusing in them is that it's got stamped a size 46, which oh. is a 10, I think. Okay. Um, wow. But then it's got written over the top of it in silver, 47. Oh. But... My friend Scott um, tried them on and he's a size 10. No, sorry, he's a, is he a 10? 10 and a half, I think. And they were just a bit too small for him. It's okay, he's gay. Oh, well, They're used sure. to that kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> right. You like them, Dave. They're proper drag queen shoes. They're lush. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And four pairs. Huh? You'll have four pairs. One in every colour. Yes, please. Isn't it? But they're nice and sparkly, and I do like catering for um, the unusual Everybody. markets for everyone because we're all inclusive here. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, someone out there is going to love it and pay and, and thirty bucks for. You never know. Um, if you sit down in them all day. Yes, yeah, sit down in them all day. I don't think. I think. Do you know what? I think it is only. Drag queens that can wear heels. Women can't wear heels like that. Oh, I don't know. There's a lady I know. No women I know can wear heels like that. Yeah, she wears them to Oh, there was... Do you know what? There was a, a, something that kind of shocked me on... Um, was it on the Matthew Wright show this morning. Yeah. They had two, three guests on there, as normal, on the panel. Yeah. And uh, one, one, one was going on about, like, gender pay gaps and how she thought it was, you know, rubbish and... Yeah, yeah. And then um, the other lady in the middle of the panel, um, I didn't realise was transgender, so was born a man, it's now a yeah. woman. I didn't realise at all, like, thought she was stunning. Um, but, like, the other woman said something about um, 
oh, you won't recognise the old men's club anyway because you used to be one. And then it just went silent. Like, it was, there was dead air for a good five seconds and that was so awkward. And I thought, how so rude. It wasn't even a discussion about being transgender or anything like that. It was just about pay gaps. And I thought, why bring that up as part of an argument? That's just rude. It's none of their business. But there we are. So, books I bought today, four for a pound. Uh, vintage books don't sell particularly quickly, but I just like having them on my bookshelf at home. Yeah. And then if they sell eventually, then they sell. This one I thought looked like quite good fun. Hannah Woolley, The Gentlewoman's Companion, or A Guide to the Female Sex, because females are a mystery. And then The Marriage of Claudia, Little Women, and Robin Cook's Sphinx. I get five for each of them, but then that one apparently is about £20. So, four for a pound can't go wrong, can you? No. What else have I got in here? I've got a little perfume bottle. That's quite cute, isn't it? Wow. That's cute. Now that's what I need. Those, that, I really need to do my nail varnish, Marion. Awful. You do. You do. But um, yeah, terribly cute, isn't it? There's one sold on eBay, identical, went for about £7. I paid £2 for it, but again, this is more of a purchase for me, really. Because I liked it. And I wanted it, so I bought it. This I was showing the guys yesterday. This I spent £10 on. £10. But it's a ring. It's very pretty. Um... It's stuck on my finger. No, um, <laughs> it's from the Hollywood collection, okay. which I think over in America is like a QVC jewelry brand. Uh -huh. It's not, you know, great, but it is Hallmark nine two five silver, and then it's gold plated over the top. But what the Hollywood collection do is that they make replicas of uh, jewelry that was like used in films or photographed on famous people and stuff. Okay. So this one has got its little certificate and it said that Ingrid, this is a replica of a, a ring that Ingrid Bergman wore mm. when dancing with uh, Humphrey Bogart. I think it says that. Da, da, da. Yeah, well, dancing with hum Humphrey Bogart at a Casablanca cast party. So she was photographed wearing a ring identical to this. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool, me being a bit of a movie buff. Yeah. You know. Of course. Again, this, this might just be for me. Someone is selling rings from the same collection. They sell them a Marilyn Monroe one and something else. But they sell them for £150 each. Mm. Um, which I think is a ridiculous price for a silver ring with a bit of cu cubic zirconia in it. But there we are. I don't think she'll get that for it, to be honest. Um, if I sell it, I might, well, I might keep it, but I'll probably put it on for about £40 or something and see if it goes. Right. More shopping for me. I wanted some 1940s size shoes, so I asked the universe for some 1940s shoes, and then the first charity shop I went into, I found some 1940s shoes in my size. Voila. Oh, wow. So that's all you have to do, is just go like, yeah. hi, that's universe, I, I would like a helicopter. <laughs> and then there's a helicopter waiting for you. That's the truth. Mm. These aren't actually 1940s, they're 1960s. But they're very 1940s style. These are 3 99 If I was going to sell them, I'd probably get about like 20 odd pound. Use keywords, glorious Goodwood, wartime, war recreation, 1940s. But I'll probably keep these because I quite like them and they're my size and it was destiny. So there we are. Um, I bought these because my mannequin is from Saks Fifth Avenue and these say Fifth Avenue on them and there was something very uh, 60s, 70s, kitsch, kitten heel, leather. I just quite like them. I thought summertime yeah. as well. I think they were £1.95, maybe about £15 on them. I just thought they were really camp and quite good fun. Ted Baker shoes. These were £1.95. They got gold in them. Gold, gold. Always believe in your soul. 
I made a funny. Uh, they got a couple of dings on them, but you know, someone would buy them for a tenner, wouldn't they? The Ted Baker. Yeah, I would. Oh, and then I got some Marion. If you like these, then I apologise for insulting your taste because I think <laughs> I think they're horrendous. But there we are. So wedding season coming up. So. I bought a bunch of, you know, mother of the bride mm -hmm. things. Oh, that face wasn't good then. The face I just pulled then, that was not a pretty face. But, so we've got this horrendous lilac, lavender, whatever colour you call it, suit. It's a four-piece suit. It's got a jacket. It's got a scarf with annoying bits on it. It's got some extremely unflattering trousers. Oh, no. I know, right? I think it's a size 20 and I paid a fiver for it. So I should be able to get about £30. And just okay. top. So it's a four piece, ugly as anything. Oh, this is a sparkly top I was going to give to my sister actually, but mm. maybe I still will. It's mm -hmm. just, it's by, it sounds like JMD, which is probably just a catalogue brand or something. It's nothing special, but. That was alright, that was £3 I think. And then this is a Burkatex suit, which actually... Burkatex is um, Ladies of a Certain Age brand. Ladies of a Certain Age. But I didn't think this one was too bad, it's not as ugly as the other one, that's for sure. It's another trouser... Quite a nice light fabric, but it's only polyester. Mm. This is a fiver as well. But trousers, little beaded shell top. Okay. It's quite pretty. I think this is size 14 or 16, something like that. Um, but this I liked because it just reminds oh, wow. me. It's like very Indian summer. You know? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Is it the right size? I can't remember the size on it, which... It'll obviously say it somewhere, but you know, effort. Hmm. But yeah, I thought that was quite. I can. I can see Judy Dench wearing something like that. Judy Dench, or you, Marion? Yes. Me. Because you and Judy Dench are quite similar. Absolutely. Yeah. We're both little. Mm -hmm. Very slender. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Both world famous actresses. Absolutely. Yeah. Mustn't forget that. And it was new with tags, but it was absolutely stinking, so God knows what they'd been doing with it in their wardrobe. I dread to think. So I took the tags off, but it's still got all replacement beads and things. So I won't advertise it as brand new with tags, because it's not really. But hey-ho. Um, and then I got a whole... Oh, this is a brooch, which... This is the one I was saying to David earlier that... Um, it's got faux pearls on it and then I went to clean it up oh. um, and then all of the does that focus? I don't know all of like the, the pearly type stuff came off mm. which is a shame because it's actually quite a beautiful brooch I think I paid £3 or £2 for that but that's okay I won't sell it on eBay I'll keep it here sell it in the shop and then I've got lots of clothes now this is a massively long, 100% cotton, peasant type dress. This cost me £1.95. I'll try and sell that for £15, £20. Yeah. Festival season. What's this? This is an XXL pair of dungarees. Oh. Which were £1.95, brand new with tags. They could go... So they'll go twice round my head. For no reason whatsoever. Other than, you know, shits and giggles. Um, how much? Yeah, one ninety five. Might get a tenner for it. I probably shouldn't have bought them, but... Oh well. I won't lose money. I won't lose money, you know? I won't lose money. Oh, this is nice. This was two ninety nine, and it's French. It's French. 
because it says, or is is it French? It says plain, plain, plain instead of wool, which I think is French. Oh, okay. But it's just a nice. I think it's Very lovely. Nice. It's so soft. Cozy. Yeah, it's really nice. It's um. Huggable. It's not one hundred percent wool. It's like wool and acrylic, I think. Yeah. I was exactly right. Wool and acrylic. Here we go. Can't beat acrylic. Can't beat a bit of acrylic. No, you can't. Anything that's like 100% anything is great. So 100% acrylic. Ooh, Ooh that's yeah. quality. That got to get you going, oh, yeah. It certainly uh, creates some sparks, that's for sure. Ooh, this is hideous. And I don't know why I bought it. Because it's hideous. But I thought it's quite 60s in style, mini skirt, ugly snakeskin thing, it's River Island, it's one ninety nine. someone will give me £12 for it surely. Yeah. And it's easy enough to measure and photograph as well. What's next? Oh right, so I'm trying to get together some things for again Glorious Goodwood, for um, for Glorious Goodwood, so like 1940s type stuff. Yeah. And I thought this skirt it's quite oh. cute. Oh yeah. That with the you know, um just a nice white blouse. It's very yeah. kind of forties looking. That was one ninety nine. Try for fifteen pound on that. Wow. Oh I do like that. Lovely kilt. Love tartan. with the buckles. I know I love tartan. <laughs> nice green tartan. You always see red everywhere. Yeah. But I got this one because it was a green one. I did spend a little bit too much on it. It was seven pounds, but I should still be able to get twenty twenty five for it because it's one hundred percent wool and it's lovely. Oh, this is um a Ted Baker dress, hundred percent silk. Wow. Again, anything that's hundred percent anything. You know, I've never looked for Ted. I, Ted I Baker's still... really nice. Yeah. Do you know, I bought some of the perfumes from Boots. Yeah. And I picked up the wrong right. one. Do you no. think exchange it? If you still got your receipt, if you still got your receipt, they should be able to exchange it. Because it, it just smells. It's not good. Uh, that's a shame. Normally, Ted Baker stuff is lovely. It is usually. Yeah, but just not that one. I picked up that I thought, oh yes, I can do that. I picked up the wrong one. Yeah. That's a shame. Oh, well. Is that my beloved's voice? It is, yes. This is your beloved this is coming up. Round number four now. Should, we should tell it. You, you're going to be on YouTube. Roy. Yeah, but yes. Smile as you come Smile up. Smile as you come up because you're, you're on camera. I'm on candid camera. Yeah. yeah. Can you do a little dance yep. when you get to the top of the stairs? So okay. have to <laughs> wave to the internet. The hello. <laughs> Oh, we can't uh, see you anyway. Can't see you anyway. It's, it's, it's here. Oh, it's there, is it? Yeah. You so, said when I get to the top of the stairs, and this is so, the top of the stairs. Sorry. <laughs> Look, at these did, did, such a cool dress as well. I know. I'm. I am appreciating that jacket. That's kind of cool. It's distressed. Isn't it? This jacket is thirty it's years old. Thirty years old. It's nearly as old as me. Nearly. Nearly. I bought this in June. London. June 1987. Wow. It's doing alright then, isn't it? In the King's Road in Chelsea. Ooh. 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 Someone's we were, fancy we schmancy. On, we were here on holiday. It was my last. It's sorted. Oh, wow. Yay. Oh, Your iPad is fixed. Oh. Don't work on it while it's plugged in. Okay. But no little wiggles or anything like that. He says that's what. That's what damages those. So how much did they rush you? So anyway, £30 from £8. Spent a bit too much on that. So you you carry on. I'm going to just do my video. You guys carry on. You know. Ted Baker. St. Michael's skirt. St. Michael isn't particularly exciting. But it's a size 80. No, honestly, I'm not. I'm, I'm talking no. to, you know. I can show you as well. There you go. Do you uh, like this skirt? Wouldn't work, wouldn't work for me. No? It's no. not your style, no? The next one might be. £15 for that. Well, I paid I paid one ninety nine. This is really just, it's weird, isn't it? I'm talking to the camera, to the internet. 
and to you guys at the same time. Multitasking. Yeah. Amazing. And I know this is like the world we live in now. I know. I know. It's not just you. It's not just me. Being you are not, not alone. Because I am here with you. <laughs> Oh, Vintage Jaeger. Now this is a nice skirt. Is this all singing or dancing? Yeah, I'll I'll get up and do a turn. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Vintage Jaeger one. Want... Huh? Oh, do, these might be your size actually, Roy. Yeah, they look very nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. Might we'll save them for you then. Allowing for the angles. Yeah, they, they, they might, you know. They might <laughs> Not sure how comfortable they'll be, mate. Right? <laughs> Ah, oh, you'd be fine. Within five minutes, you'd be dancing around. You reckon? Yeah, totally. This I've got to see. Can I stay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, vintage Jaeger skirt. Dog tooth. About 20 odd pound for that one. And then this I got, it was 4 Because it's quite 60s looking. But it's from a band called brand called Toast. A little bit of toast. Which apparently is good. Although I can't see why. Because I don't think it's anything particularly special. And it's not like it's 100% anything. It's 60% cotton, um, polyester and 40% cotton. But it's a size 14. It's a cool colour. Here we are. Maybe about 20 odd pound. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, this is hideous. I love it. Marion, what do you think of this? Ooh, isn't it? I, yes. Horrendous, that's... isn't it? Oh, that is great. I know, you You love My it. My friend Pam would love it. Your that. friend Pam would love it. Absolutely. Well, well bring Pam matter. in. Bring Pam in. I will. Okay. I'll we'll even take a Soul to Pam. Right, you know how we were talking about like 100% anything? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. This is 100% terrilene polyester. No. Oh. Oh, feel oh. the quality. Oh. Yeah. Never mind the quality, feel <laughs> the leg. Feel just the... <laughs> vile. But you've looked at this one on eBay, hey? Madame de Pompadour. No, I've looked at Madame de Pompadour and she wasn't yes. worth that much. It was only a few no. pound. You, are you sure? I'm, I'm positive, honestly. That's fine. So Honestly. That, that, that was printed in 1955. Oh, look, they've got pictures in there. Yeah, honestly. Oh, that's right. That's what you said. Look, this one. Oh, so this was three ninety nine, which I normally wouldn't spend on a shirt, but because yeah. it's horrendous yes. and it's got fabulous sleeves, mm -hmm. I thought I'll get £15 for that. I'm still on the Yow Chaubs. Have you got chicken balls or is it just the way you walk? <laughs> That reminds me of Naked Nights. <laughs> I'm so funny, aren't I? Oh, you're getting better. I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this horrendous dress. Oh, yeah. Uh, this was also one ninety nine. Oh, it's just grim, isn't it? And it's got, it keeps sticking to itself. It's very annoying. So what is that 100% gross? This is 100%... Um, 13 year old emo kid going to prom for the first time but um, I think I might just destroy it because um, it offends me in so many ways I don't know why I bought it I really don't I think I'm totally going to cannibalize it I think um, because I quite like these stones on the front so I might just take all of that off Keep the buckle bits and then just destroy the, the rest of the dress. Huh? The lacy bits on it? Yeah, I mean, like, if you want the lacy bits, Marion. I know somebody who can recycle lacy bits. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard there's someone over there that. Yeah. So that's what might be happening to that. Well, see, you never know, darling. Oh, uh, no, it's, I can't sell it. It's got, like, beads missing and stuff. I, uh, honestly, it was just because I thought, ah, there's some handy spare. Yes. You know, sparkly Blue. bits. Always useful. Yes, Roy. Yeah. Does this um, uh, there's not much left. left. That Again, that was one ninety nine. Oh, 
This is a pretty Ooh, scar. Yeah, this was 50p, I think, or a pound. If it was black, I would be an Italian widow. Oh, I could tell you fortune. Mm. Anyway, might get about £10 for that. And then this scarf has... It's 100% polyester. Mm, mm, delightful. Classy. I know, well classy. And it comes in a little plastic bag. With its own carry bag. With its own bag. You know that's quality when that happens. It was 99 pence. No, it wasn't. It was 50 pence. But I got it because it's got signs of the Zodiac on it. People like that shit, don't they? Some people do. Some people like that shit. More swearing on the internet, so that's all we need. Um, I have. Oh, I can't even be bothered putting that back in its thing. I have got two nice bags, though. I think these are the last two things. Yeah. Whoa. This was one ninety nine, ah. and it's suede and fabulous, and I quite like it. Yes. It needs a good brush up, and it's a bit worn, but it's pre loved. It's very pre-loved. It's pre-loved in the face, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> All over it is feel the love. But it's Charles Jordan Paris. Apparently that means something. But I just like the colours on it. I thought that was fab. Uh, that was one ninety nine. Sell for uh, fifteen twenty. And yeah. then this one I might keep. Well, you'll like this. Uh -huh. Nice big leather case thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Made in Italy. It smells of leather. Italian bag. It's really nice. Look at that. It's very nice bag. Proper smart, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, obviously it wasn't made for keeping laptops in, but it's around no, about that size. No, it's a good messenger bag. Yeah, exactly. I reckon you could fit a laptop in there. Uh, yeah, you could. Smell yeah, that. I'll measure the yeah, like you a. Certainly get a notebook in there. Yeah, or a MacBook Air or something. Yeah. Yeah. You, get a, you get a 15. You get yeah, a, mine won't fit in there. Mine's a 17 inch. Yeah, you'll get a 15.4 in there. Yeah. But I just thought that was lovely and it was a fiver. That's a nice, that's a nice bag. But. A, a better still, it's fiver. Oh, and you can smell the quality as well. That's really nice. Made in Italy. I thought that was a bit fab. Italian leather is always good. Yeah, and it's just that nice crease and sound, you know. Oh, it's good, yeah. So I'm a fan of that. That's a very nice bag. So, I might put on for about £30. Pound. Two or three. I, I know, same here, right? <laughs> but, I don't know. I might borrow it, because that's a good thing about me having all of this. I can borrow it whenever I want. Yay. So, I think that's the end of my video for today. That's all the clothes, any, well, it's not all the clothes. Including your guest artists. Including my guests yeah. for today. Yeah. All of the random people in this place. Yes, but you did say that I was a, an actress, a world-renowned... You are a world-renowned actress. I've even... I've watched all of your films. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, we won't talk about those. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in, what do they call it, um, when you have television and the kids can work, the sensitive times. Oh, the, um, watershed. before watershed. the watershed, yeah. Oh no, you're, you're definitely a channel yes. for yeah, 11 yes, o'clock. That's it. Yep. Yes. For sure. Right, I'm going to say goodbye and I will do more clothes at another time and other things. Ooh. Yeah.